Hey, it's Holly from Living It Country, and today is day two of the 10 home tours in 10 days series. And today I am so excited to have Tammy here from Our Prairie Farmhouse blog. She is sharing her beautiful tiny farmhouse. She has a Southern living house plan that's beautiful on her Texas homestead. So I can't wait for you guys to visit her home today. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Holly's YouTube channel, Living It Country. Um, I am just really honored to be able to share my home with you guys today. My husband and I bought a 10 acres, started building our little farmhouse, and we have plans to build another house, a larger house, and um, to go along with it. And this smaller house will eventually be a guest house or a guest suite off of the main house although this is a small house or a tiny house i'm i'm actually really enjoying living in it and um my husband and i have decided that small house living is for us so even though we're gonna build a little bit larger house um we still want to do like a small version of a house of a larger home We have built a barn and also our little well house and um, well and we also have a chicken coop in the backyard but other than that that's all we've got out here so far and um, so let's go inside now. kitchen and then swing around here and show you the living area and that is my little dog Sylvie hopefully she will be good and be kind of quiet during the video she likes to voice her opinion about things a lot so sometimes she barks but as you can see I love the vintage farmhouse look so I have um, all my decor is farmhouse and um, I like old things so it doesn't really get too uh, rustic for me. before we came in but I have our buntings and American flags out because here we are almost the 4th of July and so we've got all that kind of de decor out and that's a vintage mirror that I got at a um, 
a little antique store. And then that's where we have our TV and the cabinet that it is sitting on is actually a little wardrobe that was built by my husband's grandpa when he was really little. And so he had it the whole time he was growing up. And then um, after we were married, we had the opportunity to bring it home with us. And so it means a lot to us. And um, I did repaint it to give it that um, look. It was just a solid wood color. Um, but anyway, that piece means a lot to us and it's very functional. So it helps us out a lot with storage since we are in a small home. And um, as you can see, I also have a spinning wheel and that was another antique store find. Um, my husband actually picked it up for me for Christmas. He usually tries to get me a antique that um, I've had my eye on or something for presents because that's just where my heart is. I like old things. And then I know this isn't for everyone, but we do have deer mounts because that is my husband's thing. He likes to deer hunt. And so those are his. And so I have to have a little something for him in the house. And <laughs> so that's what we have up there. And one of the features that um, I really wanted in our home was the transom windows. And so there's an actual functional one that we have put in. And I'm so glad we did because it really helps us with the heating and cooling in this area. Um, and we have them above all of our doors, but that one is the only one that actually opens. Um, I've actually had the wing back chair for many years, um, and I just slip covered it. It has, an, you know, just another um, pattern under it, and. It didn't really fit in with my decor. And so I got a slip cover for it. And then the other two chairs are actually new. We did get them when we moved out here to our new little farmhouse. And um, I wanted a kind of, you know, a period style look but um, we went with new furniture. And so we did kind of a mix and match, but I thought they kind of complemented each other and went well in the living room. And then also, I guess I should mention my rug. It is not a vintage rug, but it looks vintage. And so I'm, I do love antiques and vintage items, but I'm not against, um, you know, getting things that just look the part. They don't necessarily have to be old and vintage, but I do, you know, it just makes it better for me when I do actually have some pieces that are actual old and vintage. And I'll zoom up here so you can see my light fixtures. And the bar stools were actually DIY projects that I did. They were just wood stained bar stools that I picked up in Walmart. And um, then I just dressed them up and made them fit my decor by painting them. So I painted them and distressed them and painted some green sack stripes on them. I am really enjoying a minimalistic look a little more since we've moved into our small farmhouse. So I have a little soap dish here by my sink with a brush and then I have an old um, crock bowl that actually belonged to my, oops, it would be my great-grandmother. 
it was my, yeah, my mom's grandmother. And so that has, you know, sentimental value to me and I love it very much. And so I just stuck a um, African violet plant in it for now. And um, I'm not a big plant person. Um, I mean, I love them, but I don't have a real good green thumb. But so far, so good with this one. And so I'm very happy about that because African violets was one of my mom's favorite flowers. And so um, they remind me of her. <laughs> There's my little pantry. And then we put peg rails in the kitchen, just on this wall. And I have an old vintage apron and an old brush and a little children's size old folding chair. And the apron I believe is from the early, early 1900s like probably 1920, I believe is um, what, 1910 or 1920, I can't remember now. It was marked from the person that I bought it from. Um, and then in our kitchen, we did glass doors above our cabinets and that's something that um, I thought would be really neat to be able to display some more of my vintage finds and up there in them right now, I have some things that are also sentimental for me. Um, the marbles, the jar of marbles were actually, not the jar, but the marbles that are in the jar. I don't know if you can see them very good. But they were my grandpa's marbles when he was a little boy that he played with. And then the other vintage finds up there. The chicken was my aunt's and the other two pieces, the little chopper and the uh, glass jar was my mother-in-law's and she gave those to me so they mean a lot to me. And um, also my cutting boards. This one, the smaller cutting board was given to me by my Christmas present and I believe it is a Pioneer Woman cutting board and the larger cutting board was made for me by my father-in-law and so both of those items mean a lot to me because they were gifts and then I wanted a plate rack or some way to display my ironstone and I don't really have a lot of ironstone but I love ironstone and so I was glad that the builder that built my cabinets were able to build me a plate rack to go in here. And so I hope to collect a little more and get some more ironstone to fill it up. But right now that's how it looks. And then I also went with a farmhouse sink in here and I am so pleased with it. I wanted one for years, and so when we built, we definitely went with a farmhouse sink, so I'm very happy with it. It's still, still sitting there, <laughs> wondering what I'm doing. And I guess I should also mention to you that my husband and I, I say I lightly, I did do a lot of helping but he mainly did all the all the hard stuff. But we did all the inside of our home ourselves, aside from um, building the cabinets. We had a cabinet maker to make those. And then we um, hired our floors installed. But all the other stuff we did. that we did in here um, because we have a king size bed and I love my bed. We didn't want to downsize our bed so um, to be able to get it to fit in here and still have a door on our bedroom 
we went with small French doors. So they were able to open and that's where Sylvie, she likes to hang out in her little bed beside our bed. That's where she sleeps at night. So she's being a good girl right now, thankfully. <laughs> And in here, I have just a vintage painting, and I've looked it up, I believe it was from 1920. And um, as far as our shiplap and um, planked wall, we did, just to kind of change things up a little bit, we did some uh, vertical behind the bed, and then I wanted to add a little color, so I went with that pretty green color and I really, really like it. I'm so glad we went with that. And then my little horse here is um, an antique store find. And I was just really, really excited to find it. You can see that it has the straw showing through on the seat. It's really old. The stories it could probably tell us And then we have two closets at the entrance of our bathroom. And we use one for bathroom storage and then we use the other one for our clothing. And I did a real vintage mirror in here and then we put pegboard around the walls and did vertical wood and then the horizontal wood shiplap on the top half of the wall. And then we have a matching little chandelier that goes with the two smaller sconces. And then I have a little shaving mirror And I'm really glad that we put the peg rail around the wall. It's been really fun to use to decorate with. And then I just have a little chair, a little vintage chair that I also found in an antique store. And I have more of the French soaps and brushes in here. And then my bathtub. I just had my husband to cut me a board to go across the bathtub and kind of dress it up. And then I have a mirror on that wall and my um, enamelware pitcher. Right now I have some roses in it. But I love my clawfoot tub. I love my soaking baths. The doorknobs, I should have mentioned the doorknob in the living room too, but since that's on my mind now, seeing this one, and I really wanted to do as much authentic looking vintage decor as I could in the house. And so I picked out a porcelain doorknob and when I saw the one that has, it has roses on both sides and I thought it was really cute. So we went with that for the bathroom. And then I just have plain looking knobs for the closet doors. And then I guess let me back up and give you one good look of the bedroom coming from the bathroom. And then we will go back into the living room and I'll show you, which I know you've already saw it, but I want to mention it, my glass doorknob, because I really, really liked it too. And I'm very happy and pleased with it. It's just like jewelry for the house. So that is 
the tour of our um, little farmhouse and I hope you enjoy it and I know I love watching the home tours on Holly's Living at Country and so I hope you all are as inspired by my house as I am seeing all the houses that she always shares on there. So thank you guys. A big thank you to Tammy for opening up her gorgeous home and sharing it with us here today. If you guys love today's video, make sure you guys give it a big thumbs up and make sure you guys tune in for all the other home tours. I will see you guys later and have a wonderful day. Mm -hmm.